kick me, punch me, beat me with crutches, hit me with flags. Anti-Semitic attacks in our area and across the country. And tonight, the NYPD not taking any chances, adding patrols outside synagogues in the city. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. We begin with the crisis in the Middle East, continuing to lead to acts of hate here at home. CBS 2's Dick Brennan joins us now here in studio. Dick, police on high alert tonight. Certainly are, Christine and Maurice. The NYPD says it's already stopped more than 40 plots of anti-Semitic violence. And tonight, it's ready for anything, ramping up patrols at houses of worship and redeploying officers at strategic locations as the Sabbath began. The NYPD on alert tonight, guarding synagogues in Riverdale and all around the city after a wave of anti-Semitic attacks. <laughs> on Thursday night, someone riding in a pickup truck on West 47th Street tossed an explosive device into Jewish protesters, burning a 55-year-old woman. Police are hunting for this man in connection with the attack, which is being treated as a hate crime. Another gang brutally beat and kicked a 29-year-old Jewish man as he lay on the ground. My whole face was on, like, felt like it was on fire for hours. Joseph Borgen says he was set upon by an out-of-control mob as he walked up 48th Street. Kick me, punch me, beat me with crutches, hit me with flags. And they were, you know, making, like, anti-Jewish comments. And it isn't just in New York. Since the fighting in the Mideast began, the number of anti-Semitic attacks in the U.S. has jumped 193 in the week after the crisis began, up from 131. Anti-Semitic posts on social media have also increased. In Los Angeles Tuesday night, pro-Palestinian protesters attacked several Jewish restaurant diners. Synagogues are also under attack. In Utah, a swastika carved in the glass. In Arizona, a brick thrown through the window. In Jerusalem, what began as a Palestinian victory celebration outside the Al-Aqsa Mosque turned into a clash with Israeli police. Security forces fired stun grenades and tear gas, and Palestinians hurled rocks. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warns if Hamas fires more rockets, they'll respond with a new level of force. Earlier this week, wounded five-month-old baby Omar was filmed in a hospital just after he lost his four brothers and mother to an Israeli airstrike. Today, the baby's father, Mohammed, said that the infant cried all night because he's lost his mother forever. Now, Mayor de Blasio and police officials seen here met with Jewish community leaders at City Hall explaining what the city is doing to keep the community safe. Meantime, the NYPD says it's reviewing videos with the Hate Crimes Bureau and is sharing information with DAs and federal prosecutors. Christina Maurice. All right, Dick, thank you.